Well, it's nearly time for Game 6 at Oracle Arena tonight in the NBA Finals, and the excitement is growing in the six. The golden question is, are we one or two games from deciding on a champion? Analysts say the biggest X factor in tonight's game is Kyle Lowry, who usually plays better on the road. The Raps really need him to be on tonight. For Warriors, Draymond Green is one to watch. If he gets a technical tonight, he's suspended and could cost the Warriors the title. Warriors are saying they're playing for KD tonight and tapping into that energy to carry them to the win. Meanwhile, Kawhi Leonard says the team has to look at their mistakes and try not to make them again. Get out there and play with each other. The one focus and goal in mind, the win. This is the first Stanley Cup win for the Blues in its 52 years of franchise history. The Blues have 14 Canadian-born players in their lineup. For a team who is dead on January 2nd, this is a true Cinderella story. Late in the first, Ryan O'Reilly opens the scoring to make it 1-0 Blues. O'Reilly scored in the last four games. The last player to do that was Wayne Gretzky. Alex Petrangelo, captain of the Blues, scored the second goal in the game with a beautiful setup in the slot. St. Louis Blues forward Vladimir Tarasenko collected the pucks in the corner and sends in pinpoint feed to Braden Shen, who blisters a one-timer past Tuka Rask for a 3-0 Blues lead in the third period. David Perron sets up Zach Sanford for backbreaker goal versus Bruins for a 4-0 St. Louis lead. O'Reilly of Seaforth, Ontario won the Con, the Con Smythe. Rather. He was the team's most consistent player throughout the season. Only a season in, and he was traded last summer to the Blues. He now holds two World Championship titles, a World Cup of Hockey win, and a Stanley Cup victory. Congratulations to St. Louis, and let's hope to get to celebrate our own championship tonight. Judy Basmaji is here now with entertainment. And Judy, with all eyes on the Raptors game tonight, the person singing the national anthem will be in the spotlight. 